last year we covered the Kanika Jenkins case. We covered it in like September and she was found dead in that hotel in the freezer of that hotel in September. So for us, it was like, you know, for the, as far as the garage is concerned, captain, it was like breaking news for us. Cause usually we're talking about cases, you know, a year or two. Yeah. Sometimes decades. Yeah. Some of them have already gone cold. And this one was, this one was crazy because there was so much, and pardon my language here, but there was so much crap about this case oh. on the internet at the time. Dirty. And a lot of this stuff was, was junk information. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of information about the case. The police. Well, the, there, there the, was the, such an uproar, and that's one of the reasons why we, we decided to cover it so early. Yeah, and we did take some flack. You know, some people were like, what, are you covering accidents now? And you now keep in mind, that was like, it's, it's at the time, it's whose perspective are you listening to? Right. Was it an accident? Was it a murder? And that's what we wanted to really look at was look deep into this thing and find out if it was a murder because it's a very strange situation to see a young woman, just 19 years old, right. walking zombie style through the hotel hallways all by herself, all by her lonesome. And then eventually she's found dead inside this freezer and her family was in an in a uproar, rightfully so, I think, because her mother... God bless her. She wanted answers. She just wanted to know what happened to her child. Well, what's so sad about the whole thing is that the mom actually went down to the hotel, you know, and said, hey, my daughter's missing and she's here. Mm -hmm. And the hotel said, eh, she's not here. And if people would have went and looked for her and they would have searched all the, all the areas mm -hmm. of the hotel, I think they would have found her. And I don't think she would have been dead. And I think... Uh, you know, this would just be, uh, we probably never would have heard of this story if that's what happened. And, right. I, and I wish we, I wish that's how it turned out, but that's not how it did. Well, in the, the wild thing here was, you know, the media and the community and people wanted to, the police came under fire, you know, oh, yeah. you're not really investigating this very well. Mm -hmm. And the hotel came under fire and, where my heart lied was in, and I followed Kanika's mother's good example. She said, you know what? Her friends are the ones that I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. And I followed her good example because it, what was this? What was she out doing by herself? You know, she's clearly messed up is the best way to put it. When you watch that video of her walking around, she right. is messed up and she's out walking by herself a very vulnerable situation for her to be in and her friends, her quote unquote friends, so-called friends weren't there to keep an eye on her. And I know they're not, you know, we covered uh Brittany Drexel recently and, and one of her acquaintances said, you know, I wasn't there to babysit somebody and I get what they're saying, but still this, this is, this was weird to me that, that not only did her friends let her walk around and wander the hotel, right. but they, I almost I almost dropped the F bomb there. I got all worked up. They left the hotel. They their friend, they don't know where the hell she is and they leave. Well, and to their credit though, they did call her mother. Yeah. So that's one good thing. But Thank also you. Thank you for, for talking me off the ledge there. But when you also have a situation where you can watch a lot of footage of Kanika walking through the hotel and it's very it is very scary because we know that in result and it's very zombie like it's very uh, it's i mean i've seen drunk walking before this mm -hmm. is beyond that and so you just kind of wonder what was her actions beforehand what was uh, how was she acting in the hotel room beforehand and and that's where i questioned them as friends because you would have had some sign that she was beyond to intoxicated right i can't believe that this just like in the blink of an eye She's all messed up all of a sudden mm -hmm. this, this. So here's the thing though, too, which is wild because where we had a few, a few people saying, Hey, what are you doing? Covering accidents. Now we had quite the reverse by most of the people that heard our episodes. And if you want to go back and listen to those, that's episodes 144 and 145. We covered it September of last year, but we had, well, on all the old episodes are available for free on the stitcher app. Well, 
what we had, the reverse of that was we had loads of people saying, crying, screaming out for an update on Kanika's case because there was good information that was learned. Once you sifted through all